What's going on guys? T-Mart here and welcome back to another episode of Drive Club. Check it out baby, we got two races left for this amateur section. We've got the Spiker Drift right here and then we've got the Amateur Trophy that we're going to be going after. So I'm pretty excited about this and then we're getting into some pretty sweet cars. You guys saw we unlocked the Audi R8 recently, there's a Ferrari California, that's a Bentley I believe. Uh, looks like we got some Mercedes AMGs going on. It's uh, it's gonna be pretty sick, so I I'm looking forward to this. We're really starting to get into the kind of more fun part of this game. So here we go. Drift score of 6,700 is the goal, and our Spiker C7 Aileron. This is one of the craziest cars I've ever seen. This thing looks like a jet. Holy crap. Look at the inside, like diamond plating. What in the world? I didn't even know this was a car. Hold on. I'm gonna look this car up. I've there aren't a lot of cars I haven't heard of, and this is one of them. Spikers, oh, it's the C8 aileron. The price is uh, about $220,000. It's a 4.2 liter Audi V8 engine and a top speed of 186 miles per hour. Dude, this thing looks like a, a shark. This is insane. I really like it. Oh gosh. Alright, let's get a restart there. He handles a little bit differently than the uh, the Beamer we were using at the end of the last episode trying to drift around with. Like. This is one of the craziest cars I've ever seen. I like unique stuff. I like unique shoes, cars, all that kind of stuff. So this is like... I can't... Do we need to start on the inside? Maybe we'll start... No, that wouldn't really make sense. Maybe we just need to hit it harder. I don't know. We can't seem to get it sideways over here. Oh, we're going to start here. Come out. There it is. We were just starting a little bit too early. That's all right. A little too fast. Woo! Oh! Shit! We could have used a little bit better drifting than that. 2900. Wow! We didn't even get to 5000. I can't believe it. Alright, it's that middle drift that messed us up. Let's give this, uh. Oh, we did. Okay, cool. The 6700 is going to be tough to get to, so I'm not even going to try to get that one. Uh-oh, we just got the Audi TT RS Plus. Wow, we unlocked an Audi R8 before we did an Audi TT. That's kind of... That's a weird system for unlocking, but uh, I guess I'll take it. All right, here we go. Amateur trophy time, baby. This is a three-part event. We've got three different races. Let's try to completely max this thing out, and we are going to be racing with... Ooh... Wow, we only got to use the Spiker once. That sucks. Oh, well. All right, we'll use... I guess we'll use the Audi TT RS Plus since this is new. Why not? Let's see what we're working with, man. This looks like a nice vehicle. All right, so finishing the top three for the race. Lap time of a minute, 17 seconds or less. Finishing top three, speed of 145. Top three, beat the cornering face-off. First in championship, top three in championship, and finish the championship with at least 20 points. Here we go, baby. We've been on this track before. This looks familiar, I believe. All right, here we go. Audi TT RS Plus. This is a pretty sexy looking car. It's a tiny little thing. It's like a little go-kart almost. But... Passing you, homie. Taking that first place position. See ya. <laughs> Already in first place. I actually really like that. That's something that. Ooh, look at that D bag. You aren't passing me, bro. Oh shit. Wow. All right. That could have been a lot worse than it was. And now we're gonna be able to get some drafting. Experience. That's that's a okay in my book. We're gonna take this guy on the inside. We're gonna take our first place position back, and we aren't gonna do that again. That was scary. 
time I freaking light flash before my eyes. Woo! Getting a little bit of drifting action in now that we know what the handbrake is. Alright, so we aren't going to hit 117 this time, but we have two more laps to do it. And, uh, and I think we're going to be able to make it happen. I think we're going to win by quite a long shot in this, uh, in this race. Shit! Wow! Alright, I did not realize it was that big of a turn, so we're not going to be 117 in this lap either. We're going to have to do it in the final one. Let's just use this as an opportunity to make sure that uh, we know where all the turns and corners are. Looks like if we just take that first little area where we just went off the track in, we take that a little bit slower, there's pretty much... Gosh. Wow! There's pretty much nothing but straightaways apart from, uh, from right here at the end, so that's where we'll make up the time. I'm just trying to get more drafting experience, you guys know that. Take the inside on him. This little bugger just gets going so fast. I don't want to. I don't want to slow down to turn. There you go. That's some good turning, Trev. Those are the speeds you need to be at. Are we gonna be able to beat 117? We are not. All right. Here we go. Final lap. Let's watch out for this first part right here. There it is. That's how we do things around these parts. A little bit of drifting action going on. Here we go. Now we got the straight, baby. And I think we're going to be able to get it this time. Go down here. Bada bing, bada boom, here we go, we're looking good, boys! This is gonna be a perfectly clean lap. Should be as long as nobody hits me in the back. There we go. We haven't messed up this part yet, I don't plan on doing it now, so there it is. Got ourselves a nice little clean lap right there at the end. Gonna have a first place finish. Gonna get our minute 17 second track time. Very solid. Clutched it out at the end there. That's what I like to see. Give me that clean lap bonus. Plus a thousand. Let's go, baby. All right. Cool. So we're two for two so far. Now we need to finish to the top three and achieve a speed of at least 145 miles per hour. That's, uh, that's not going to be a problem, sir. Let's do this thing. Here we go. Look at that old rusted bridge. Here we go. Let's try it out inside the Audi RS, or Audi TT RS Plus. This is interesting. All right, so this is a, uh, a sprint race here. Good so far. Big turns coming up. We got a right hern, right, a right hern, a right hander right here. We got a hard left. Whoa! Why are you going so slow? That was scary. You got my bay, bro. You ain't fast enough for me, bro. You ain't fast enough. All right. There's a nice pass. In a position. It's draft a little bit. Oh gosh. You gotta reach 145 miles per hour at some point. Not sure when we're gonna do that. It might be right here. We're at 117. You can't see miles per hour when you're inside the thing, so that's why. Oh no, we're gonna do this turn right here, and then we're gonna be at 145 miles per hour. Easy, easy. Come on, come on. This big loop de loop turn. Nice! 
Nice. All right, this is where we hit 145. Let's watch that thing rise as fast as possible. Here we go. And we're going downhill. This is going to be quick. 145, baby. Come on. Come on. Got it. Woo! Back at the first where we belong. Let's get back inside this cockpit and let's finish this thing out. Man, that was close. Alright, 62% done with the race. Look at all the confetti. Get that confetti out of my face, ho! Alright, we have a uh, 0.8 second lead over second place. Off track a little bit there, that's alright. Boom, baby, here we go. We got another straightaway coming up right here. Oh, this would be a perfect place to reach 145 as well. Nice, look at this thing. Oh, this is beautiful. We're gonna take this thing all the way to the finish line, baby. High speed bonuses, let's slow it down here. Nice. That's gonna be all she wrote. All right, we're four for four on our challenges so far. We're definitely gonna be able to get the last few because we're gonna be able to, to win the championship here and we'll definitely, um, definitely have over 20 points. I think we already have that, but we need to be top three in this upcoming race and beat the cornering face off of 2600. That is something that we've struggled with quite a bit before. So if, uh, if anything could give us a run for our money, it's gonna be this challenge right here. So let's, let's make sure we do it big, baby. Let's get it. It's a little bit of a, a stormy day here. Is gonna be rain on the track? Nope. We're gonna race outside again, which is fun. All right, top three finish and the cornering face off. Now the good thing is this is a lap race. We're gonna get three tries at the cornering. But as we know from previous experience, we want to be out in first place when that corner in comes into play. Because otherwise, we're going to be competing for all these guys. Cornering starting up here. Shit. Right. Oh my gosh. We're going way too fast. Wow, this is such a long one, dude. We're gonna get it because... We got it because we went off track, because it slowed us down and it made it so that we could definitely get it. That's so funny. That is awesome, my friends. All right, we're gonna hit the brake here and take the inside. Ooh, okay. I thought we were gonna be able to fly by him, but... He was not having none of that. Now we will. Alright, so now we have uh, we have two laps left and all we need is a first place, or not a first place finish, just the top three finish and this is going to be in the bag. But we're going to get ourselves a first place finish to make sure nobody can even contend. And uh, nice man, we went perfect on this one. That makes me feel good. That's a lot of stars in here. Up there. Wow, all of these guys are right on our tail. If we make a mistake, we can be in some trouble. We're gonna get some clean lap bonuses, that's for sure. Right here. Some accurate section bonuses. All kinds of bonuses. Let's get it. 
I like this this little TT. Looks a lot more aggressive than they have in the past. This is a new one that I haven't really seen very much of. Oh gosh. That was a pretty bad turn for us. These guys have caught up a little bit. I want to redistance ourselves. Oh no. They're gonna be able to pass me. Need to make sure we finish in the top three. What the fudge? I hate these racers so much. All right, Trev. You better finish in the top three. I'll freaking kill you if you don't. Oh, gosh. Woo! We just got very lucky. We just got very lucky. Come on. Don't let him, don't let him pass you, Trev. Screw you. Give me my first place spot. We gotta go pedal to the metal here. Woo! That's a great turn. That's how you create some separation. Negative 1.3 seconds. Accelerate out of that apex. Go, 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 go. Woo! We got it, baby. Oh, boy. That got a little bit hairy there at the end, but we were, uh... We were able to pull through. Good stuff. All right, cool. So that's the, uh, what was that? The amateur championship? We're no longer a rookie. We're no longer an amateur. What are we, pro? We'll see here. The amateur trophy, baby. Nice. Unlock the Bentley Continental GT Speed. All right, so now we got a Bentley and an R8 to work with and the, uh, the upcoming episodes, and we unlocked this section of uh, of races. So it looks like we're going to be unlocking a California soon. Some Mercedes. This is going to be a fun one. We got a freaking Audi R8. We need 82 stars to get to semi-pro. Then there's pro. And then there's legend. Hell yeah. All right, cool. So we're moving along, along pretty quick through this Let's Play. Hopefully you guys are enjoying uh, more great videos coming soon, both on this game as well as on Forza Horizon 2. So thank you guys for uh, for sticking with me through all the racing. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.